let's jump back into Pokemon Legends Arceus. I always I stutter at how to pronounce Arceus because I used to say Arceus. All right, so last thing we did was we got Ursaluna, and then I don't remember what I'm doing next. This was a little time rift I need to go back for. But I think I need to report back to home base. So let's do that. Deposit my stuff. Wait. Whoa. Follow me. What up, DVD seat? How you doing? How's your day, Ben? Okay, let's return back. Do I have anything to turn in? A bunch of stunky. And one stun? Stunky. How close am I to the next level? Not very. Okay. <coughs> Jeez, I need water. Ooh. <laughs> what up, Sarah? Good timing. <laughs> Wait, Akari, where did you go? <coughs> oh, God. Jeez, I need one. Yeah, that kind of rushed getting into streaming. I wasn't really... <coughs> I'm not at 100% yet. Okay, but I was already falling behind schedule, so I was like, screw it. Hitting the stream button. <laughs> But I appreciate it. Rainy season has begun. I like the rain. I'm one of those people that actually like enjoys going out in the rain. Like if it's like lightly sprinkling, going for a walk or a jog in the rain. As long as you know, you're not gonna step in a pothole. It's nice. What up? What up, Spectrum? <laughs> G-Funk, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a, that's a childhood nickname that my brother gave me. <laughs> How you doing today? Oh, Lil' Gant. Our clan's La Lady of the Ridge is in a frenzy. Ooh, I love Lil' Gant. I used to use one of those. The Renzu knowingly kept this from me. A Lil' Gant? Yes, they're... F only female little get, which makes this honored one our lady of the ridge. But this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out what Arisu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. As long as you don't have to drive. Every Life's good, Spectrumalium. Life is good. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Arizu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in the situation with the raging Ursaluna of the Pearl Clan, I could lead the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if you do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will the people do? We'll be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support on one side, it would put us at odds with each other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to part in tearing the lands apart. Right, of course. After all, we, the work we've put through is great threat, one another as equals, and keep us from fighting. <sighs> I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble would break out again. G-Funk, perhaps you have some idea how we might address this situation. I could call Ursa Luna, whatever that means. I need to go sh I need to go shopping. I'm done with this kimono. Ursa Luna, so he's the warden Kalaba found you worthy. 
That's perfect then. Ursula should be able to sniff out Urizu whenever she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursula deems you worthy, you should be able you should be ready to quell Lil Gant's frenzy as well. I'll head to Lil Gant's seat, then Brava Arena, it's called, if you'll excuse me. There's a little bit too much text in this. <clears throat> I feel like they can say what they need to say in like half the words. All right, listen well, G-Funk. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Isui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where it could live without war or strife. A two-tone hair? It's a little over the top. It's a little bit over the top. <coughs> oh, God. I'm still exhausted. Okay. Okay. Still breathing heavy. Heart rate's still going too fast. Still thirsty. Come on. <coughs> okay. Focus. You need some tea or something? I need a lot of things. Alright. I do have... A nice V8 hydrate, which is good. Some good old flavored potato juice. Okay. So I need to go back to the Crimson Marylands? <clears throat> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not another PB&J. I don't have any more of the peanut butter beer. I have like a... Like a caramel beer or something upstairs. Or, I don't remember. Some weird flavored beer is upstairs. But no more peanut butter. No more peanut butter stouts. <laughs> The Graceful Pokemon. All right. Hey there. You're a go-getter from the Cervico, right? I have a request for you if you've got some time. Caramel apple shots? Do I have any apple flavored anything? I don't have, there's no like apple wine, is there? There's no way I have that. <laughs> but I like the way you think. <laughs> Uh, Roselia? Okay. Would you complete the Rosalia, Roselia's page in the Pokedex and show it to you? Okay. Well, that does sound good. I could just get like an apple flavored whiskey. Oh, that sounds really good now. <laughs> Okay. What do I, what do I want to do here? Um. So up here's where. where um. Where have I been? Isn't there a way to like fast travel? Didn't I make a second fast travel spot? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's way down here. So I think all these gray areas I haven't been in. All right, let's just go to where I'm facing. <gasps> Oh. 
What up, little Psyduck? Alright. <clears throat> I think I've settled down. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm alive again. This Carnava is freaking terrifying. Or Carnivine. Carvana? What the heck's a Carvana? Oh, that's a Piranha, isn't it? Piranha with rough skin? Wait, I'm supposed to climb that? That's where the... The map is telling me... All right, you know what to do. Climb. Uh, get, get up there. Screw climbing the intended way. Get there. Come on. Carvana. The <laughs> car dealer. <laughs> That's probably actually what I said. <laughs> oh, that was back. Get there! Make it! Yes! We're going up! We're making our way up! Intended! Yes! How do I keep losing my indic? Okay. Keep losing my HUD. A combi! Okay. Hold up, little buddy. No, 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 no. Don't see me. Don't see me. Sucker. <clears throat> hey, you don't see me? You don't see me? <gasps> Sudo Udo. Oops. <laughs> he just freezes. Maybe he doesn't like that kind of berry. Oh, that one. I think I, I spooked him, so he just froze. He's playing possum. <gasps> He's fast! The f also, look at that asleep pseudo -udo. Look at this dude just chilling. Just big chilling. Oh, frickin' Paris. You wanna go? <clears throat> Did yeah, apparently they laid- I figured they stood up like a tree. Well, I was wrong. Oh, you want to fight too? Second Paris? Oh, you douche. I mean, this is why this game is awesome. You get to see stupid stuff like that, like Sudo Widow sleeping. And by stupid, I mean amazing.
Um, where was I going? For Baja Blast Hard Seltzer? You know... I mean, I'm not, I'm not crazy for it, but I'm totally, I'm totally gonna try that. <laughs> also, Mountain Dew doesn't mix well with alcohol. It's like way too sweet. Something about it doesn't mix well. Man has gone too far. It's fine. Fuck. No. But I know people that like go crazy for Baja Blast. Like I've literally gotten them Baja, like a 12 pack of Baja Blast for Christmas and then like they loved it. <laughs> Hey. Gold bats always freaked me out because their Pokemon their Pokedex entry talks about them sucking people's blood. And sometimes they suck so much blood that they can't even fly. And then you see how giant that bat is? It's like they clearly killed someone. They killed something when they did that. Those things are monsters. <gasps> Murkrow! Yeah, I had uh, a Haunch Crow that was level 100 before, named Pimp Crow. He was a good Pokemon. Definitely has a Pimp Hat. Oh, I saw online, there are gyro controls in this game. How do I turn on gyro controls? There's a way. How do I do it? Uh Game controls. Uh how do I do it? Settings? Motion sensitivity. Yeah, I can turn on motion controls. Look at that. Ow! Immediately gets hit when turned on motion controls. You want to go? Yeah, you better run. Okay. <laughs> Got a little aggressive there. You know what? Looks like someone's getting their Breath of the Wild fix.
spirit energy. Touch the space time rift. Shiny, shiny in the background. Another one, but I want the shiny. All right, time to check the decks for some some stuffs. Let's look at um, Staravia. Okay. All right. So I need to use Aerial Ace, and I need to feed them in the wild. Okay. Wait a second. Can I? Throw out my Pokemon? Well, no. Well, I could thank you for, for all of that. But I wanted to feed you stuff. Uh oh. How do I do things? Alright. Here we go. Um. What's Grit Gravel? Um, sure. You could improve your special attack, I suppose. Wait, what? Oh, I can't do it for anything? I just want to use it on anything. Sure, why not? There we go. Alright. I want to see if I could feed you. No, not you! Ugh. You know what? No, Paris, you ruined everything. I'm just trying to feed my own Pokemon here. What? What does... I want to see you. I want to see your face. Okay. You want that? You don't want the food? Eat the berry. You don't like that? You don't like that kind of berry? Fine. Then you're going back in your Pokeball then. Another Parasect. Ah, you jerk. This will be a good experience, I suppose. Ah, uh, strong style it. Should one hit KO. Getting spotted by everything. <gasps> Roselia! Before I get hit! Before it sees me! Alright. Now I gotta do. If I com complete the Pokedex entry on Roselia, I get the new. 
uh, where I get to finish a, a mission. Okay, so I need to catch them. I need to defeat them. I need to use poison powder. I need to catch a different form of it. it must be like a boy girl form. Dude! Do you seriously see me? No. No. I'm getting seen by everything. Spotted a mile away. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess defeating them counts as a as part of research. What the fuck? You don't see me. You see me. How terrifying this Roserade is. Totally gonna catch this. Level 50. Jesus Christ. Just walk away. Now, where am I going again? Look at Lady of the Ridge. I follow the blue signals to sniff out. Okay. Blue signals. But I want to catch all the combi. No, that one's dick. Okay. 
a It's fine, it's fine. Okay, I need your expertise, weird deer. Climb up this ridge. Come on. Come on. Get up there. The hair, the haircut lady. I helped him. I was riding the bear to you. Thanks a bunch, fella. But how'd you find me all the way out here? Your Saluna found you. You checked me all the way here by the scent of the potato mochi I ate? The first Saluna sure is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow. My looks ran out though, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad while I was, I was running away. It's almost like the world wanted to punish me. Ah, there you are. Arizu, right? Yeek! <laughs> Mistress Kalaba, uh, uh, I didn't... I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect thinking you were just some whelp of the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I, I should have treated you better. But wait, but. It's not your fault that Lil Gant became frenzied, nor that Ursula was so enraged. You're trying to help them both work. I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you, and. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursula only started acting weird after he got too close to Lil Gant and smelled her perfume. Ooh. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That could have caused it. That explains the strange powder I found on Ursula. That must have been the powder from Lil Gant. What would have happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs and I fell and sprained my ankle. And the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help from Ursula and also learn about crafting. While I was there, I bumped into Professor Leventon and he told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleaver. I thought I'd make some for Lil Gant using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you. Really. Well then, we, make, we better take care of our lady and get our mess resolved first. Adamant. What were you thinking, doing this all by yourself? Didn't you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader am I. I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes, and I fail to imagine that Lilgant might have became frenzied too. Listen up, G-Funk. I'll take the bombs that Arizu made and meet you at Brava Arena. Don't you worry. G-Funk will calm Lilgant. That will be all that. Things should settle down. Uh... No. <laughs> what up, D-Roo? 
At Tobreva Arena G Funk, that's where Logan's seat lies. Arisa will be taken care of, my dear Babarel and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Okay. Uh, he did say please. Uh, I don't like doing voices though. Also, this is like, I was here like five minutes ago. We're only starting to stream. Okay, I don't feel like having motion controls on anymore. I'm too used to them being off. I'm gonna sleep in Onyx. <laughs> what do you mean I missed? That went through his body. Not this area. Dang it. Get away from me. Oops. Graveler came out of the rock thing? Oh, how you doing, D-Roof? How have you been, dude? Oh wait, the barrel knows no water tanks, right? Oh my goodness. And this thing's level 37. We're just gonna run. This was a bad idea all around. Yeah, bye. You, you take care of this. <gasps> Tangela. Um, okay, so I need to go to this area next. Alright, let's just turn in everything. Um, go to the main home base. Let's, uh, get some more Apricorns. Actually, might be close enough to level up. Let's see. I need to do like two more rounds of that and I could level up. Okay. 
That ain't too bad. And you go to the fields. More apricorns, just do it. Six great balls. Holy smokes. And just eleven Pokeballs. I guess they're trying to convert me to great balls. So this is... Do I really not have a large enough buizel? I only caught four of them. I need to catch a ton more of these. Where's my side okay? way that way.
I need to find a way to get up this mountain. How do I get up here? I mean, I could do just my way of doing things. Come on. Yep, there, just gotta find the right seam. There we go. Oh no. I think I've tried this ridge before and it didn't work. Come on. That's right, we're gonna go this way. Dang it. I could just pick it up myself, I suppose. give up again. I do want to catch this Psyduck though. Oops! I meant to throw a Pokeball at it. Not a Pokemon that'll destroy it. Well, sorry Psyduck. Clearly, I could climb this side, though. They so clearly made it easier. Come on! How do you not climb this? Hmm. Oh, how is it not? It's like there's an invisible wall right there. Like they don't want me to climb it up this way, which is weird. There we go. Come on. Come on, come on. Just in case 
There's a graveler in here. We're gonna throw out Floatzel. It's a Geodude. Okay. I haven't seen any like TMs in this game. So far it's been like the Pol or the moves that the Pokemon learn. I've just noticed that. I guess TMs are like, they were invented by people, and this society's too new for that, so I don't think they have TMs. throw mud at you then you become stunned and I could catch you. None of the sneaking around BS. Just huck things at them. Oh see ya. Oh you're a Paris? F you Paris? What did I miss? Oh I thought. Uh oh, it's a haunch crow. I got some plump beans. Settle down. I'm just trying to catch your children. Get out of here. I'm just taking your kids. Stop. Duh. Oh, okay. Okay. This was a wise guy. Okay. Okay. Go back to Papa. Fuck. Okay. Cutscene. Help me. Help me with the cutscene. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready. Of course. Lady Lugans, a sight to see, even in her frenzy, but hold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. <laughs> that leaf hat. All it took was one of my whole tices to get Arizu's leg all patched up. Kaliba, ma'am, I'm sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. 
Rizu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge Lil again is, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You want to catch her real close and learn how she dodges her moves. That's right, if you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when we can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Oh, I forgot to change outfits. Oops. Lilligant looks like? I thought she was like. She had like a. Like more of like a flowy dress with her leaves, not. Like a dancer. Or like a ball gown dress type thing. Eat the food! Eat the food! Dangerous Sky Dancer? She kind of looks like the Flame Dancers from Ocarina of Time. Where she just like spins. Eat the food! Did they send a Pokemon to battle? Doesn't look like that's working. from the 90s. Wait. I do, I'm just seeing wacky inflatable tune tune men when I type in sky dancers. Oh, there, there it is. Okay. See, that I can see. She totally looks like one of those. Metal plate. Wait, that thing's a less dangerous Sky Dancer? Isn't that a more dangerous Sky Dancer? You didn't just save Lilligant, you saved Arizu as well, and I appreciate it. First, you're Saluna, now Lilligant. You're amazing. Shut up, I'd note. Being all frenzy didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. He 
you still owe someone an apology. Huh? They caused a lot of damage. <laughs> Did they? How? <laughs> How do they cause a lot of damage? Do they cause fights? Or do they like... Do they, do they like spin and like go crazy in, the, in your room? Is that what they did? Oh god, they did! Oh my gosh, they did! <laughs> oh no! They don't... That looks so dangerous. <laughs> There's no way those would be legal. Just plastic spinning really fast in your room. <laughs> A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the solution rooms. All lives touch other lives and create something anew and alive. These, there's wisdom in these words. I imagine they're teaching Almighty Sino itself. Alright, alright, alright. Of course, I've completely forgotten about them until certain somebody helped me remember. Alright. Alright, this is this desktop time. Really <laughs> There's no way that these won't just like destroy your room. They're just gonna f they're, they're just gonna fly into everything in your room and destroy everything in its path. <laughs> what is the what are these recommended videos? <laughs> I don't like this. This is weird. What what oh no, this is on like the kids area of YouTube. I don't like this. Whoa, trippy. Okay, not messing with that. It's giving you PTSD. <laughs> you tried to curl your hair when. <laughs> tried to curl your hair with one of those, just letting it spin and attach your hair to it. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. It's a real innovator, that Estepan. A real idea, man. <laughs> that sounds awful, though. I'm sorry to hear that, Mackie. <laughs> it does not sound fun. You're all sad face. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Rizu. You are a warden of all people. We should know how to stand in solidarity with others. Okay. Capture computer audio off. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can't hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arizu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it, do it without keeping things from me, agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. So maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lil again, I need you ready to protect you like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Marlins safe. I'll be sure to inform Arita of that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy team helped Ursaluna. You do well, G-Funk. All the different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it, it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I would be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adamin, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out 
will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, G-Funk. I think I'll stay and talk to Lil Gant for a while. Why did I think Lil Gant looked differently? I thought she was like bigger and wider, not just like a skinny little twig. So it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things in light and couldn't keep you safe. I'm really sorry about that. Lee D. <laughs> Curl your hair. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> I mean... Wood! More wood! King's Leap. That sounds fancy. Um... I could craft great balls. Wait, a lot of tumble stone. Okay, now I'm out of iron chunks. I can pick up the leaf. All right. Oops. Does anyone like that? I threw it on accident. You like that? What's down here? Dive! Oh, wait, I can't swim. Oh wait, no, it's too shallow. Ow. Well, I guess that was best case scenario. Somehow don't see me. Good job, dudes. That cartoon would rather drown itself than... Touché. You win this round. I just need to catch them and... Okay, so I don't need to like feed them or anything. Just... What? You saw me! Well... What? You're too powerful? That didn't work? Oh, it worked. Get out of here, Rosa Raid! Wait, that, a 
I was poisoned? Is that why it hurt me so much? I kept doing damage after just the one attack. Like a Burmese can come out. No? No space for anything, do I? Just crafting things just to make space. Alright, I think I've... done enough. Back to camp. That's a real wonder. I saw a light disappearing from the time rift. Called another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what caused the lightning that frenzied these Pokemon, but you. You just go on rescuing them without a hint of trepidation. It might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Twenty-four Pokemon. I don't think this is enough to grow a rank, but it'll certainly get close. Almost seven thousand. Let's go. Three thirty. Five hundred left. Yes. Let's go back. What up, old man? Found her by the scent of my Moshi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Learn to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful Moshi when you come to the diner lately. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal could wait. What do you sell? Just Pokeballs and stuff I can make? Okay, what do you sell? Hairstyling? Oh no. But I wear a hat. What does this look like?
uh, my eyebrows. Uh, I don't know. Fine. Oh, I hate it. Ugh. Sure. <laughs> I hate it so much. Why did I do that? Alright, let's go. See ya. A fancy kimono and fancy bottoms? Yes, I want that. Okay. That's a big handkerchief. A bowler hat? <laughs> These are what the fancy kimonos look like? Wait a second. Did my heat turn on? No, it didn't. God dang it. Just the f Wait, no, my heat did turn on. Yes! I've been without my furnace stopped working again. But it just kicked on. Hey, My house heating up. Let's go. Oh, that one's sick. Oh, I like these festival ones. I don't like that one. Those are showing too much chest. I don't like that. Sick. All right, all right. Ooh, that matches the belt almost. Oh no, that no no not wearing short shorts. Come on, come on. What kind of game is this? Um Mm, I don't like any of these. None of them are very good. Oh, then I got and it's those again. Crap, there's nothing good that matches with this. Well I look like a jabroni out here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 
That, that was fun. Not you. Ooh, what do you got for me, bud? Okay. My younger sister Wanda is in the security card, you see. She went to the Mirelands too and she never came back. Report it to someone. Okay. I'm gonna go find my sister Wanda. Anything I could go off of. Her favorite handkerchief, maybe. Okay, so I just got to find Wanda in the same way I found that other person. Easy. <gasps> Rob is just chilling up there? Oh, cool. The pseudo at the bog bound camp seems to be feeling rather poorly. Odo, one of the chaps in the village, is doing the best to treat it. Oh, I want to help pseudo Okay. This. You have such a better spot. This Rowlet has such a better spot than this Oshwat. Oshwat is basically like in a little cage. I feel bad for you, dude. You don't have anything. anything. It's just a cubic taint. Oh, I guess you got a little bowl of something up there. You got some food. Oh, I got some mushrooms or something. Still. You got gypped. Okay, the nostalgia get unmistakable fragrance. I can only if I could only smell it again. I wonder if the herbs of my home region can be found here in Hisui as well. Oh, you're part of the survey. Core, right? You can see what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. From a specific Pokemon? Please let me know if you managed to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off of it. Um... Angela? Look at that, a solid lump of vines. And this aroma, that's the scent I remember. And these are the herbs from my home. There's herbs on that thing? I didn't expect the Pokemon to be so absolutely covered in herbs. I mean, vines. And the vines are moving. I wonder what the Pokemon itself looks underneath all those. Anyway, thanks for finding it. I'm the best at... Admissions. Don't worry, I'm going to take a little bit of your vines to use as herbs. As long as that thing's happy. Is that, okay, is that Pokemon wearing shoes? Or is that just what, it, what its feet look like? If I have an idea, oh, I have an idea. If I lived with a Pokemon like you, I'd enjoy the Sudoma every day. Smoke bombs and experience candy. Boss man chambers. What's up? Successfully claimed or calmed Lilligant. Excellent. There may well be times when the galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is for all of this the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free of war and strife. The stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, and frenzies all induced by strange lightning, like which likewise from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning. Is that right? You may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond in Hugning. Sure. That's a word I know. Ah, oh, 
piping hot low sheet. Ah, crap. All right, um, my mom just called me. I gotta take a quick break and give my mom a call. Sorry. Uh, I'll just put chair stream. This is decent music. I'll be right back. Shouldn't take long. I'll be there. Yep. No problem. Okay, bye. Alright. I need to help my mom clean tomorrow for half an hour. For some reason. Whatever, Mom. She probably needs me to reach the places she can't reach while cleaning. Oh, okay. There you go. Piping hot potato mochi. Fresh from the stove. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends. Sharing the latest findings from your Pokedex research. Topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? Anything else? Why are, Why do you always take me here? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? Will our research... With our research or with carving out a life here? Oh well, here's a flashy new recipe to try, G-Funk. It's for an item that could help scatter these gloomy thoughts? Scatterbangs? Come on, don't worry yourself so, my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll find your way. These words are worth taking to heart, as long as we truly believe in ourselves. I'm sure we'll even complete the Pokedex someday. Morning, sleepyhead. What up? You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working as a, at the hairdresser shop. I thought you were already working there. New hairstyles? Yes, I don't like the one I currently have. Help me. I'm pleased you found a worthy successor to the establishment, Edith. What about the whole Ursaluna situation? If you were to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from, welcome, Arisu. Where were you when I joined this place? They basically said, if you don't win, I'm going to kick you out of town and you can't be, and you're not welcome here. Now this guy is just saying, I don't care where you're from, you're welcome. Met the wrong people. What's going on here? These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They live together with us in Jubilee Village. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. Is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of us began as well. 
We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. We've also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and use their mysterious power to help you Black Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to G Funk here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of all of our team members, let's continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui re region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Okay. So they just get to be, join the village too. They didn't get. Oh my god. The third degree like I did. The advancement of our understanding of the Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we could operate safely. And that is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Oh, that's how they explain it? G-Funk, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? Yes, absolutely. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellow in Galaxy team, and yet you find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is necessary, a necessary quality of one of the Survey Corps. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live along with them or not. And be warned, as a leader of the Galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Uh oh, foreshadowing. Commander, Rita from the Pearl Clan arrived. Good. I believe I know she's what she's here about. As for you, G-Funk, you should see yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps efforts. Then you will come to my office. Okay. Well, let's see if I have a big enough weasel for this dude. This one? Needs to be at least two eight. These are two three. Two four. Two three. What the heck? Ooh, a lot of new missions. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. About that Taohua. I'm afraid Taohua is refusing to do business with me again. Oh, that jerk in the basement? Hmm, three pop pods? What's a pop pod? Do I have pop pods? Oh, to him. Give me a better haircut. Ponytail, no. Middle part. No, I'm all about the side part. No, it's too clean. I don't like any of these. These all. Ugh. No. I don't like this. I don't like any of this.
Yeah, limited hair options. This sucks. I hate it. Sarah, get back to playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> hat or no hat? I'm wearing the hat. Alright, at least give me purple eyes. I want purple eyes this time. Yeah, I look crazy. What's ultramarine? That looks, that looks kinda looks cool. <laughs> Can you have purple skin? I don't think I could change my tan. <laughs> Definitely a young mad scientist. <laughs> uh, what does my fancy kimono look like? Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I needed something? I know, like, games like Dark Souls and, like, Elder Scrolls and stuff like that, you could, like, change, you could, like, totally change your skin color. Those are a little bit nuts. I tend to just, like, when I get overwhelmed with options, I just tend to just look generic, because I was like, ugh. I'm either going to spend hours here, or I'm going to spend five minutes in these menus. Let's spend five minutes. Pop pods is what I need. Do I have any pop pods? Okay, none over there. Yeah, I got really excited because she like took over the the salon. So I was like, oh, she's gonna have more options. She had two more options, and there were like a, a side part and like a middle part. It's like great. You did it. <laughs> you did it, lady. Yeah. Okay. Krogong's curative poison. Okay. Venue for your successful research on the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next order is to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coast Coastlands. I will not let you. I will. I will let you know in advance. There are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. 
Allow me to explain. We did have a lord of the coastlands until a few years ago. A treasury took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures in the land the Lord used to call his home. We've also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. We've had some members that were attacked by ghosts while gathering materials about Firespit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan can't tolerate the discretion for a late Lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, G-Funk. This is literally every 30 minutes this happens. It's fine. It's fine. Think nothing of it. G-Funk is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he will sort things out. Indeed, G-Funk quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. Now what do you want? The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. I know I was just talking about that. It is further afield than the Crimson Myland, much further, and the path is long and trying. With the current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission, investigate Firespit Island. Oh, this is like a, a, a rank check. That's why I'm talking to her. She was like, are you a high enough rank to get there? You are? Okay. I'm going to give you this dialogue tree. And if I didn't, she would have told me she won't let me travel there. You need to be at least this rank. Go do stuff. Okay. That being said, I want to do some side quests. Oh, okay. As part of the Survey Corps, lend me your talents. I've been told that Hippopotas can be found. Yes, I hate those things. They have different appearances based on their gender. I feel like if I were able to see and compare them, it inspired me to create new designs of my clothing. Perhaps can you show me both a male and female Hippopotas? For an Hippopotas... I think I've caught several of them. By your quest. Hopefully I have... Enough. Yes, I have a boy and a girl. What up, Omega Vanguard? How are you doing today? Good to see ya. Oh, I can see the, the brown on their nose. Oh, oh. Bam! Wow! Never thought just a change in color would lead to such a different impression for the same Pokemon. That's definitely inspired me. Give me just one moment. I'm doing, I'm doing great. It was a good day today. I'm ha I've been having a pretty good streak of, of good days at work. Getting a lot done, so I'm happy. It's been good. So also I think it would be perfect. It's called Shellos. I've heard they have different forms depending on their lives and different colors. Ooh, now I need to catch some Shellos? Okay, okay. Wait, why am I wearing these shoes? These hideous shoes? Disgusting shoes? Let me get something else on. My sandals! Yeah! I love wearing flip-flops. My flippity-floppities. 
Okay. Missions to do. Missions to do. Alright, what do we got? I could try to catch big weasels. Um, I haven't found a cherim yet. Ooh, let's do this. Catch the, the mysterious red will-o'-wisp on Wimswet Run. Where the heck is Windswept Run? Ah, if it isn't G Funk. Oh, you, you jerk. Though I suppose it'd be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? None of your business. The Cobalt Coastlands. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. Polina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some Pokemon in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. What the f- These people are jerks. But do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then. An apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones. Yes, evolutionary stones. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, I know about evolutionary stones. I trust you will take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones are. Oh my gosh. A mature spell that could raise the effort level of one of your Pokemon stats. Alright, you gave me stuff that I'm just gonna immediately... I guess I'll use it. Fine. Actually, no, I don't feel like using it. Mm -hmm. Those, those. Alright, let's just go here. So I need to go do some something something run. Alright, so it tells me exactly where. Okay. It's just a little bit south of here and I need to go there at night. So let's... Until nightfall. change my lineup soon but I want to finish off some research on them first first okay let's let's figure out who I want to get rid of weasel or floatzel what do I need to have floatzel do I need to I need to use agile style 25 times and use Water Pulse 31 times. Alright, so let's use Floatzel. Let's finish that thing, and then I'll be done with it. Alright. Light. Agile Stall. Don't shake your butt at it. Okay, you're level 35, you're fighting a level 8 Pokemon, and you can't one-shot it. The way they do levels and, like, damage is so much different in this game. 
It's like it's more normalized. Like it's not as extreme one way or the other. It's... Which isn't good or bad, it's just different. Okay, well that's four uses of Water Pulse out of 31. Alright, let's fight you as well. What? Why did I switch Pokemon? Also. Oh, I get to go first still? Let's go. Juju is slow. That and like, yeah, this, the speed is so much different in this game because like sometimes I could go two times in a row like I just did. I switched and attacked. Faucet, what up, dude? How you doing today, bud? When did my character have drip? Since I decided to to change up the the clothing, you know, like an hour ago, half hour ago. Oh shoot! It's faucet. <laughs> I get that a good thing. I'm sure it's a good thing. <laughs> but when you say "oh shoot," it's like, wait, are you happy or not happy? Oh, get up there! Come on! And I did change my uh, my look a little bit because I was like, I was gonna raid someone, someone playing this game yesterday, and then everyone had cool, had such cool outfits. I was like, oh, I look so generic and lame. I got, I got a, <laughs> I gotta change it up. I'm pure fashion. <laughs> no one's ever mad at Fawcett. Alright, fair enough. Such a weak throw. <laughs> uh, that was a heavy Pokeball. Oh crap. Think of any instances. <laughs> Not a single one. Investigate this tree for some reason. That's what I throw it in the Golbat's mouth. Oh! <gasps> Give me! Hi! It eats it, I assume? I think it'll just act like you catch it. I'm not risking attacking it. And this is like a limited... This... Yeah, I'm just gonna throw my best ball at it. There we go. What up? Harambe from my previous playthrough lives! Let's go! 
Jen started in the wild. Well, it wasn't really a wild. It, it was um, it was from a mission. So I think that there could have been like a limited number of chances on that one. So that's why I was so I didn't want to fight it. So adverse to fighting it. You know what? You get the mud. You want to come over here? Come on, come on. Uh oh, shit. Oh, I don't care. I'll ignore. It. I'll ignore you. You didn't get caught. Ow. Uh oh. Not you. Where's your? Where's the little guy? Ow. Okay, I caught it. Now let's fight this dude. I'm sure so many people accidentally killed that guy. Yeah, I would rather just like throw 10 Pokeballs at it and just like waste 10 Pokeballs than risk ever trying to do anything different. A space-time rift. I'm collecting these. I love space-time rifts. I must be close on cricket tops, right? You didn't see anything. You don't see me. Oh, he saw me. This one didn't, though. Okay. Oh, I've caught 23? Wait. That was food, not a Pokeball. No, don't run. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what? They hit him on the bounce! Come on, big shots count. I mean, I think I would hate it if someone just, like, threw my... Like, imagine if you just ordered fast food and they just threw it at you. Actually, no, I would still eat it. <laughs> I mean, I'd be mad, but I wouldn't dislike it. So yeah, take that back. You probably just hated that food. What up, jerk? The alpha cricketoon is filled with might. Jesus! That sounds sick, actually. Rather than getting it skated to you. What, like at a Sonic? What do you mean, skated to me? That feels degrading to the person doing it? Yeah. It's not the greatest thing. But, I, I mean, for a fast food place, you, you can, I mean, at least you tip them there. You can. You could even, like, I've eaten that Sonic. You could tip them. You never actually seen it? Yeah, there's a Sonic that's, like, less than a mile away from my house. And it's got, like, the car stalls, and it has people that skate.
Oh, I need to feed them. No, 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 no. Forget about me. I'm gone. It was the two. It was the twenties. It was a different time, but now. There you are. Thought that was something they stopped doing in the 1980s. No, I mean like the the Sonic near my place, like I remember it like opening. So like when it was like very new and it was like super popular, like you would see it. It'd be more. It'd be way more common that you'd actually see people like skating. All right, well, this this is going to be, this guy's getting a 10 course meal right here because I need to feed him. Oh, he's happy. Wait, are you, are you hungry still? Fuck. No, no, come on, man. Come, you got to make all the, you got to. You want it that badly. Okay, apparently I can't just feed it ten berries. It doesn't it won't eat that many. But you could at least feed it a, a little bit. Please take your milkshake and leave. <laughs> You're gonna ask. Uh oh, I don't see that emote coming up. Wait, am I done with you? Am I done with Starly's? I need to evolve more of them, but other than that, I'm done. Okay. So, you get to live... What about the barrels? I need to catch 25 the barrels? Hey, hey now. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't care about that. Does he still have that emote? Because I know that th there was something about it being... He said something about it being something something TOS. Yeah, I think he got rid of it. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. The emote's gone. These tiny birds are knee height for crow. You're still about that crow, d crow gunk thing, huh? I mean, rightfully so. Oh, did you see this yet? Yeah, he got rid of it. He said something about, like, uh, TOS something. Spooked him. And I don't know the, the rules of it, so I, I didn't comment on it at all or anything, but... It's like a pretty widely used emote. Oh. Well, I mean, he's streaming right now. You could, you could ask him about it. I 
I'm just speculating here. And I didn't know that was a widely used emote. I mean... It makes sense. That it'd be. <laughs> you have a bone with a bone to pick? Alright. You settle your score then. Shit! It's like the twerking... Uh, what's the name of that game? Among Us, dude? It's, yeah, one of Enter Jokes Here's emotes. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> My, I share those thoughts. I, I'm not going to lie. I've used it. I use it to make joke and faucet happy. <laughs> and when they and when they ask me about playing uh, Among Us sometimes, because I've never played before, then I might use it. Then I've used it. But, oh... What? Don't run. Don't chase me. What? You're the weakest Pokemon in the world. Why are you chasing? What the? Poisonous missile you just shot at me? Eat the food. All right, that's a guaranteed catch. up this hill. Wait, do that worm pulse escape? <gasps> That's a Star Raptor? What are you doing, Star Raptor? Holy crap. Shit. Where did my stuff go? Where did it go? Where'd my HUD go? There it is. That keeps happening and I don't know why. I don't know if it's something I'm doing or if it's the game messing up. Bunnery! Bunny! Little bunny. Sleeping little bunny. <gasps> you see me? Just spike it in his head. Got it. Okay. Um, Tatus is going unstable here. Wait, what? And I'm going the opposite direction. Oops, nope, delete that stamp.
Ooh, that restores PP. Okay, that's good. Actually, don't rest. Because I need to... Okay. Whoa. That's the space-time rift thing? There's like a giant... Rainbow... Don't. What is this? Where am I? What is happening in here? What do I do in here? What's going on? What is this? A blue shard? It's like random. Is this safe? Oh, oh there, there's like what? There's like a rare Pokemon in here. Now I remember. I want to weave all. Don't, no, 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 don't leave. Okay. Can I fight you? Okay, you're not gonna, you're not gonna fade from this. Ooh, perfect. Okay, now will it let me attack, or will it let me throw a Pokeball even though there's two Pokemon out? Because I think in the previous games they didn't let you. I can't. Okay, please, please, please. All right, bulldoze. Okay, bite. Okay. Okay, you can no longer use double edge because I, I'm ghost type. You can use Bulldoze, but you can't hurt yourself anymore. So I'm going to use Hypnosis, put to sleep, and then try to catch it. Or it'll put itself to sleep. Well, in that case, then I'll attack it. One more. Well, Bulldoze isn't affected because it's flying as well. Ghost flying is an interesting type. Okay. Okay, that, um, there's more, there's more. Okay, um, before, before I leave this area, let's... Okay, use all of my resources. This is the most important thing I can do right now is just take advantage of this area before it disappears. Okay, what else we got? Anyone else? What's this? This looks... a nugget? What's this? Green shard? Experience thing? Ice stone? Ooh. Anything cool from here? Something sees me. What sees me? I didn't know this place was haunted. A Burmy? Who cares? Okay. Okay, Hunter. Oh, um, um, um. You'll survive one hit of this. Dark Pulse? Will I survive one hit from it, though? Okay, Bite might kill it. Uh, let's do that. Perfect. Hey, 
Hey, let's go. Okay, okay. Okay, um... Okay, let's try to take out this onyx. Hopefully you're taking the onyx, right? Yes. Okay, now the Ursa Ring. Level 43? Strong style. I only have one attack to get off, I bet, so let's do a strong style. Jeez. Okay, normal and fighting won't work, so hopefully this is a good typing. Play rough? That's like a fairy move. That's really good. Let's use one more confusion. Double edge doesn't work. Looks like I have one more attack. Let's try to put it to sleep. Yes! He might still attack, because sleep doesn't work the same in this game. Okay. Drifloom's so clutch. Ursing. Ursa Ring. I could just use that one straight up. It's, it'd be my highest level Pokemon. Right off the bat. Okay, level 36. Once again, a normal type. This is... Okay, I really just need this Pokeball to work. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many things. This is absurd. I can just immediately change my lineup with all these Pokemon. It's no longer available. I mean, what do you think of that? How big he- Oh, he left! <gasps> no, 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 no. 
Not my favorite type of Eevee, but I will never complain about this. What are you doing? What kind of magical thing are you doing? Offensive stats raised, defensive stats raised. Eevee's just kind of looking around, watching, watching her, her papa, Papa Sylphion. Baby doll eyes. Oh, you had those baby doll eyes though. Well, it shows the status buffs right there. It's gonna, it's gonna one shot me. Mimic? Oh, that's a terrible move to do. Come on, gimme, gimme, gimme. This will be my second Eevee, which is why I'm not freaking out as much about it. Okay, if I get a critical, I will knock it out, so I don't want to do that. So let's just throw balls. Come on. Hey. Dude, this place is a gold mine. If I ever find a rift in the sky like this again, you better bet I'm going in here. Holy crap. All right, um, I'm gonna be changing my lineup after this, and if you would like to select some Pokemon for me, go ahead. Okay, if I get a critical, I'll KO it, so let's just use this now. How long does this last? This is like too good to be true. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got a couple of these bad boys. Toxic level 47? Oh my gosh, I might be dead. Strong style. I'm gonna only get a, get a one attack. He's just looking around. They're, one of them's too dumb to attack. Oh, I did strong style, so they got two attacks in a row. Crap. Poison jab, poison jab. I have nothing that's better against that. Oh, Luxio, it might just die right away. Close combat. Do that again. Do close combat again. Fuck. You're poisoned as well. much damage it did that shouldn't have killed it kind of flirting with disaster continuing this I don't want to do an aerial ace because it'll knock it out
So if I'm getting lucky with my catch rate, so let's just roll the dice. Oh my gosh. Using all of my resources right now. Just not, I'm not leaving this area. Okay. Oh, can I craft any health items? I can't. I got rid of all my health items. This was probably going to limit me. If this keeps going. Well, I don't need more of those Ursa rings. Three Pokemon that are next to each other is not worth the trouble for Pokemon that I already have. I could cut. Oh, another three of Pokemon that I already have. Alright, never mind. I think I'm out of here. I have my fill. No, I, I isolated him. Okay. Okay, I can just work on isolating them. That works. <gasps> he might kill himself. Survive like a tongue, survive! You idiot! rather die than be with you. The fuck? Okay. We're peacing out. Yo, that place is crazy. I think I've had my fill. The distortion faded. What level are you? And a little weasel punk's coming at me too? I'll take you all on. Oh good, I'm focusing that weasel first. We're just gonna leave the Star Evia just gonna- this, this is gonna destroy me, huh? Double edge. Agile style. Roost! Oh, And air What the fuck? Cause he's agile! He did two attacks!
Agile, Roost, or on any healing move is broken. It doesn't always mean they get to go twice in a row. It's dependent on their speed stat and a bunch of other factors. But yeah, that was pretty busted. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Okay, I think I'm, that has to be enough for a new rank. Let's let's see what I've, my haul. Twenty two Pokemon. Look at that. Okay, I got two Sneasels, a Lickitung, a Haunter, Ursa Ring, Licky Licky, Sophion, Eevee, and a Croagunk. Holy crap! Give get paid all right give me at least 500 experience come on 680 new rank yeah return me to the village yeah i'm still trying to get used to like the agile style strong style but um they don't really seem to make much difference in short battles, but like in longer battles, they tend to matter. But enemies seem to only have like one or two Pokemon, so it hasn't really mattered too much. But you know, having three Pokemon attack me at once kind of made it a long battle. Mm hmm. All right. Give me a star. I need it. Let's go. Pokemon up to level 65 will not obey me. I have wing ball recipes now. Okay. How do I change my lineup? Where do I go? And I'm basically open for anything, so if anyone has any recommendations for a Pokemon you want me to use, let me know. I don't really care. At this point, I'll use anyone. Um, so how does this work? Okay, let's move into my lineup. Okay. All right, um, how does this work? Oh my gosh. Okay. At Hunter, Lickitung, Sophion, Eevee, Krogunk, Ursa Ring, Licky Licky, those are all pretty good. Murkrow, Roselia, Combi, Krikatoon, Silcoon, Psyduck. Paris Zubat, Sudowoodo, Stunky, Carnivine Tangela, Badoo, Onyx, Drifloon Barrel, Combi, Burmy. And these are all kind of just generic beginning level Pokemon that I already have. These are all Pokemon I already have. Okay. Oh, there's a Pikachu in there too. And a Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Alright. So what do we got in here? Do I use the Croagunk? Or Toxicroak? Toxicroak? I've never used one before. I have an Ursa Ring. Lick a tongue. Sophion Sneasel. Hmm. Is 
Is the answer just all of, all of the above? Use all of them? I can even get rid of Quilava. Just use a Haunter. Eh. I've used, I've used Gengar before. I've used a Duke Spook, as I called him. I've also used a Pimp Crow. Oh, don't necessarily... Ooh, Psyduck. Turn to Golduck. I've used Golduck before, too. Bunnery I've never used. I don't really have the desire to use one. Yeah, I could be convinced. I might need to get a Mewtwo. Whoa, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself. I don't, I, is, is there a Mewtwo in this game? Don't answer. Ooh, I have Ponita? Wait, why was a Ponita in there? Well, I have a Quilava. Chimchar. There was a Chimchar in there? Who do I swap for Chimchar? Ah, there you are. Who do you think? It could be anyone. No idea if Mewtwo's in? Okay. I mean... I mean, the main... The big boy in this is going to be Arceus. So I don't think there would be a Mewtwo. I, th I think they would leave that for... If they made... Another Pokemon... You know, Legends game. They might do Pokemon Legends... Mewtwo, Mew... Or something like that. You know? Celebi... Pokemon Legends, I don't know. All right. I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, that'd be a good way to not give you everything in the game, kind of leave you wanting a little bit more for the next one. Because you can't just give everyone everything they want all at once. It's just... It'd be, it's just too much. Well, that was exciting. Oh, there's so much... Oh, I gotta turn in this quest, too. Oh, the Chimchar? So this is the Will-O-Wisp Pokemon? Dang, she really, like, she described it as a Will-O-Wisp Pokemon because, like, she didn't want you to know it was a Chimchar. I guess they wanted, wanted that to be a big surprise. And it worked. You should look at this Pokemon at night. Okay. Okay, let me... Let's, let's go bedtime. Out of all of, like, the video game, like, characteristics that people have, I would really like to take the, the ability to be able to fall asleep whenever I wanted, wake up whenever I wanted, and then just to be able to stay up <laughs> as long as I wanted. This is a sweet power. <laughs> that a lot of video game <laughs> protagonists have. Although, in that case, I would just never sleep, ever. All right. What up, buddy? 
Well, that's it. That's the will of whisper. I saw, right? Would you be able to lay down without going to sleep? It's a good question. That's part of the deal? Shoot. What the? A will o wisp? Oh, it's just a kid. I'm, a I'm assuming that's more of like a folktale type thing in Japan culture. Japanese culture is the proper way to say it. Okay. Well, that was a, a fun side mission. And now I have a ridiculous lineup. What's wrong? No, no. Everything's fine. Whatever you need, come back later, alright? What's the matter? Uh, maybe a survey core type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels it feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. I found burnt berries a couple times, and once in a while I hear some clatter. So survey core kid, go survey my quarters and figure out what's happening. Survey her quarters, she says. Do it at night, would you? I'm gonna be at work during the day. I'm ready. I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny. I mean, even if it would just be, I couldn't be able to lay down without falling asleep, I think that I'd still take that deal. That'd be e still an easy yes. Architectural plans. The faint smell smells like berries had been present here. Noise from the entryway. something underneath the cloth. Draw it back. Crackle? What Pokemon would this be? It's crackling? But it's also leaving burnt berries? Is it gonna be like the Frostlass? Because it's supposed to be like an ice ghost? It's making the crackling sound? Or is it like a firecracker? Crackling. Fire crackle. So that would be like a, a Litwick? A Litwick? I'm guessing Litwick is the Pokemon. A Pichu? <laughs> Ricarga. <laughs> you just want it to be a giant, just magma slug, just. <laughs> it might sound sort of, but I think it might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. Oh, he was just shy. Very for me? Wait, because I fixed you up? So this haunted my quarters. It's just a grateful little Pichu. I guess I was worried my worrying was pointless. Well, these things could still, you know, destroy you. Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. Sweet. Oh, well, that was a, a short and sweet little one. I like that. The fields. Give you my apricorns. Okay, if you play this game, always give money to this dude. Like, I didn't... Oh, wait. 
wait, not you. Like, I didn't know this was a mechanic, but, th like, these guys harvest things. You can give them money to, like, make you stuff. That guy just made me 66 apricorns for 500 yen. Super good deal. Every time... I, I gotta remember to, to talk to them more often. What a tail. What a remarkable tail that was. Pokemon, it belongs to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it. With not but a tail poking out. But it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Okay, weird guy. Think you could catch the Pokemon I'm talking about? His tail is elegant and swirling like a spring? Investing. <laughs> Um, tail like a spring. I mean, I'm thinking of like a spoink, but he said it was in the sky? That could be a drift loom. He said, hate to see you leave, but love to watch you go. Who said that? This guy that I'm talking to right now? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think I have this. This is a Pokemon. The, the tail that's elegant and swirly like a spring. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna walk in front of him then. I'm not gonna give him a show. Looks like it's in this house? There's a mission. Hmm. You. You have an Eevee. If it isn't one of the youngins from the survey court, good thing you dropped by. You know what? If I had a domesticated Pokemon, would I have an Eevee? Nah, Eevees are too generic. What would be a good domesticated Pokemon just to have? Like you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want like a legendary. Ooh, a shaman would be good. A little hedgehog, grass little hedgehog dude. Tiny little dude. It could be a shaman I'd have. Eevee would be nice though, but Eevee's basically like a dog. Or a cat. After thinking long and hard, I decided the best way to win Eevee over is an old-fashioned way. Through tasty treats. Moving up specialty stacks. Okay. I found a few local berries that I think would be good enough substitutes. Okay, what would you like? Okay, I probably have all those things. Hopo, Raz, Hardy. Hopo, Raz, Hardy. Hopo, Raz, Hardy. Okay. Okay, um... Okay. Hardy? Only have one? Well, let's go get more. Um, second area. Some hardy grains. They're like the most common thing, I swear. How did I not have enough? Oh, now there's ghastly here. Alright, I can't... 
I can't use Chimchar first. You know what? That's what I thought. Okay, one. Need a couple more. All right, that's Heart of Greens. And now, while I'm catching all these ghastly, That more hard to grains? No, this is something different. Paris. That'll work, right? Cool. You're pretty blind, Psyduck. Okay, where was that ghastly? There you are. Pick up some extra hardy grains in case I need them later for something else. Oh, that's just a Carvana? Uh-oh. You know what? Fine. I'll fight you. I need to fight some people to get Chimchar's level up. Well, I guess this catching Pokemon also helps with that, too. That's all I needed. Fast travel. I like how fast that fast travel is too. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, I didn't expect much, many points. I really just wanted to get some hardy grains, dude. Alright, hardy, raz, hopo. So I need to get raspberries and hopo berries. Up there. No space. Okay, now Hopo. Okay. I think it's this house.
Yo, yo, yo. Will Evie love you now? Wonderful. These ingredients look nice and fresh. I'll get cooking. So wait here a while, would you? No? Sure. Got nothing else to do. All done. A hometown muffin. It is beloved by a surprising number of Pokemon. That's interesting. I guess the taste is fine, but I'm not the same as the muffins from my hometown. I remember them being more moist and having the nice, delicate flavor to them. It's always a time after all the trouble we went through to gathering all the ingredients, but I'm afraid these mediocre muffins won't be enough to get me in Evie's good books. It's a Pokemon. What's the matter, Evie? Do you want one? Well, I won't stop you. Here you go. I mean, usually wild animals aren't that picky. They eat grass. <laughs> now, who could resist that cute face? I'll spoil you rotten if I'm not careful. Yes, I will. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Get the rep recipe. And, oh, and that's with cake lure base, so that's with a different recipe. Interesting. All right. Cool beans. All right, what else we got? Cherums. That's impossible. Wait, how many wisps do I have? Because I get a reward at five? I think I, I don't think I have five yet. Because, like, yeah, there's 107 wisps, which are like the time space rifts. But I get rewarded every so many. Okay, find a Pokemon with three leaves in the Crimson Mirelands and catch one. A Pokemon with three leaves? I don't know. Uh, Roselia? I don't think I've completed one of Roselia yet. This one I just need to ask about. Okay. Side question. Hello. I like your hat. Ah. You're here for my request about Krogunk. A member of the Diamond Clan told me they made a medicine by diluting Krogunk's poison. Medicine made from Krogunk's poison could apparently relieve pain in the lower back. I'd love to have some to give Buck. Okay, well, I, I have one. Yeah. Wait. I have a Toxicroak. Do I have a Krogunk? Oh, I have to. Yeah. Oh, look at that dude. So this is a Krogunk. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? Charming? In a way? Any smidgen of your poison, please. Would you be so kind? Would you kindly? Thanks very much. Now whip it. Now to whip up that medicine. There we have it. This is how to be super effective. Supposed that she's supposed to look a lot like Nurse Joy. Pokemon come to the aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? I bet they'd be able to help an even greater range of people in Pokemon if we could set up some kind of aid facility where Pokemon worked side by side with us. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Of course, we'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever going to happen. So I want to think the Survey Corps work help us in ways 
people aren't even aware of. My poor back! Alright, let's, let's help Buck. Oh, wait, she gave me a full heals? I didn't know full heals existed in this game. You want to go help him? You're just standing there. He's in pain. Do you hear him? Okay, whatever. Okay, that was another short and sweet mission. Okay. So this is just... Okay, so these two I could... Okay, at least see what this one's about. Oh my, it was quite a bit. Okay, let's just do these two and then I'm gonna go back to the main story. Shouldn't take too long at all. Uh, more water, please. Okay. Oh, someone's like right here. You dropped something? I've been waiting for you, kiddo. Let's get down to business. I have to look for that pseudo-woodo. Oh, that, that piece of crap right over there. It's looking pretty litless, so I gave it a whole feast of berries. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> even, but even though it gobbled them up, it seems like it has no energy at all. Isn't it odd? But I figured it must be parched. After all, it's a, like a plant, right? It must need to be watered. It's not. Every time he looks away, he <laughs> shit like he's waving. So it could have just fired up a healthy water pulse at it. I'm sure it would perk it up in no time. Uh, you... Don't agree? Plants love water. Bring me a Pokemon that can use water pulse. Um, my Floatzel can. Oh wait, I don't need to get it in my lineup, right? I could just select it. Get him! Oh boy, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> I couldn't convince him otherwise, like, no, I don't want to make this Pokemon faint. Woo! No, do! <laughs> what? <laughs> well, we, we pissed it off. It's gonna use like rock slide. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna try to catch it. There goes that. I thought it had better defense than that. Or maybe Sylphion's just way better than I ever thought. Ooh. It, maybe it doesn't like getting wet. Is that it? Gosh, I guess I rained on your parade. Sorry, Suda Widow. I'm sorry for making you a part of this. Well, give me something then. You give me 15 heavy balls? Holy crap, that's a lot. Thank you. I was up. Okay, I was on my way from the Meyer camps when this Alpha Hippowdon came after me. I dropped my charm that I was carrying. Can't find it anywhere. Can I have it back? 
It's lying in the swamp. Can you bring it back to me? Okay. Let's do that one. Okay, and instead of using a revive, let's just chill here for a sec. And let's craft. All right, uh, take care, Omega Vanguard. Uh, have a great rest of your night, and thanks for hanging out. I can only craft like five of these? Holy crap. Okay. Dang, I really would like an upgrade to this system. Or I just want to be able to... to hold more things. 11 experience... I'm just gonna deposit these. I was thinking about using them on Chimchar, but it's like, Chimchar is just gonna grow levels so quick anyways, just by exploring. Okay. Um... So where is this? In the swamp. I mean, it's gonna be... There's nothing called just the swamp, right? Is this gonna be in these areas? Probably gonna be the close one. Do you really see me from that far away, dude? What? Oh, he's got moves! What? He doesn't get... Well, he did get phased, but he also got hit. What? F these dudes? God. No, 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 don't sell me out. No. Dude, get out of here. Dude. Seriously? That one's sleeping. What is this? Can I... It's like four different items in that thing? That'll fill up the satchel pretty dang quick, but... Okay. No!
What, how do you see me? Is it the red hat? It's tacky, isn't it? Uh, where's this charm? It could be anywhere in here. Really? You want to go, punk? Alright, who'd be good at fighting you? Uh, no one. Um. Oh, you're gonna use rock slides. It's fine. That's not the right choice in move, dude. fight it. I was debating whether or not to catch it. I love the way it thing walks. <laughs> Just like without a care in the world. No. Come on, fight him. That's what I thought. I think I found it. Grab this! I found the charm! I found it! Okay, I'm comparable level, right? This is gonna be level 45 or 50 or something? 34? Oh, this thing sucks! Ball, get it. What's that lying over there? My charm. Yep, yep, means a lot to you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, good. That one's still here.
kind of throw is that? What? No! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so I don't find that three leaf Pokemon. Wait. Are you serious? It's just right there? Um. How do I get across? Can you get across? Where do you cross? Where do you cross this river? Right here! Make it! Golduck! Save me! I don't think I can make that. I found the three-leaf Pokemon, but it's across the water. Can I cheese it? Can I just, like, battle it from back here? No. No, Triflu. <sighs> well, that's a different mission I need to do. I can't cheese it. Which is a shame. Because I love delicious, delicious cheese. Yanmas. Oh, that one's sleeping. That one's asleep while flying. Baller. What? Do you really want to go? I'm still getting used to how hypnosis works. I can just kind of think of it like a paralysis, where sometimes it's just, it works, sometimes it doesn't. And it doesn't go away immediately. I think, I think that's how I was going to think of sleep now. Okay, I caught my first Yanma. Ooh, I guess it's morning because the music picked up. Well, I guess this one didn't get caught. Oh, something sees me. Probably the Yanma didn't get caught again. What the heck? Um. Now, how close am I to finishing all of my objectives with you, Kulava? I haven't checked that all day today. Um, numerically. I do numerically? Hmm. Alphabetically? Okay. Well, at least I know where it is. It's under Quilava. Okay. 
Okay, so now I need to use Quick Attack 15 times. And I still need to use Strong and Agile moves more. And then I could... Well, there's another one of those crazy space-time distortions. Come on. Right, what am I crafting? Oh, wait. Fifty one. Okay, maybe I don't need any more Pokeballs. <laughs> How many do I have? 96 Heavy Balls? Okay, let's try to catch this. What are those? Those like spindas? What are those? Ter... Teddy Ursa. So sluggish. I mean, guess he's not in a hurry. He's just chilling. Oh wow, there's a lot of these dudes. I still can't find a way across this river. I'm assuming. It's intentionally locking me off of that area, judging by the map. Which is fine. Do I have space for whatever that was? Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's actually do the story mission next. Okay. Alright, turn stuff in. I got a few new Pokemon. Yanma, some Teddy Ursa. It's in like 120 points is what he's going to give me. Let's see. 340? Holy crap. But I need about 2,000 more. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Ok, 
Okay, and we're going to wait. Why is there a, just a parasect in the middle of there? Why is it like that? I'm gonna ignore it. All right. Ooh, pretty beach. Okay. I already missed what he said. All my goods are safe. Okay, crap. Okay, what kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon. Let's not forget you've got a mission to accomplish. So any questions before we get started? About Fire Spit Island? Indeed, Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskan. Oh, okay. The Diamond Clan? Alright, so hopefully I'll get the ability to cross water now. Yay. You know Glamia, one of the skittish Pokemon that runs away from humans real quick? You want to catch one. Smoke bombs and stealth rays are your friends. Ooh. Kitties do have very good eyesight. Oh no. You with your classic Japanese attire. I do love flutes. It feels as if the tones carry the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You who have seen the vast p space beyond the rift, here I come. A Glacian! Wait, have I already fought you? <gasps> you better not attack that Eevee. Can I catch that Eevee? Stop! So quick. I have 91 heavy balls. What? I have to attack that Eevee? That poor innocent... High horsepower. No prisoners. They made me do it. I thought that was a wild Eevee. Oh, that's right. She doesn't use Pokeballs. So that's why they were just both out. Okay. Okay. Now I feel better. The world is vast and I'm small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. I don't think you need to worry about that. All right. With you, I think you can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden of the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be the warden at all, but Lina, that is to say, Paulina, 
She's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We're both in the run to become leader of the Pro Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks into the true heir to his father, the late Lord. With this help of your strength, I think our late Lord heir will glow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know anyone I trust more to help with this than a person who helped the Pearl Clan by calling Cleaver's Frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up in the headland. Head down the hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading onto the ridge. Okay. Cool, cool. <gasps> Do you like those? Yes. Damn it! <laughs> oh, those heavy balls are hilarious to use. I like Glammeows, I just don't like they turn into Peruglies. Then again, big fat cats. I mean, I gotta love them. Wait. Are Burbies supposed to look like that? And how is it running away? It's connected to a tree, I thought. Got 10 apricorns, let's go. Oh, you do have keen eyes there, you little kitty. No, not you. No! Oh, they are pretty skittish. To catch us without using any fruit. <laughs> they suck with heavy balls. <laughs> okay. Cop three. <gasps> A sphere! What up? They really just roll around like that? Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Shit! A score rupee back there too. I'll catch a score rupee. Wait, normal Pokeball. Whoops. Whoop. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh, you have good ears. No, I could get to you. I'm trying to use up my heavy balls because I have so many. <gasps> A Drapion. Oh my goodness. Five. Filled with wild might. Crunch. Why is Drapion just so freaking good? Oh, good. 
good. It's using sword stance. Is it gonna go twice now? Of course it does. Oh crap. Um Perfect. Let's see if we can catch this. Can you cut that out? Hopefully it uses Bulldoze and it just misses and not use Crunch and then just one-shot me. They definitely made catching easier. I mean, you gotta catch so many Pokemon in this game, but like catching, it makes it a really nice catching those really strong Pokemon though. I have no potions, do I? I mean, I could just use Oron Berries. It's like 20 HP. <laughs> Uh, that's good enough. Wait, who sees me? Who sees me? This little, this little dude? Alright, fine. If you could somehow live this. Oh my gosh. Well, not like that. Cross poison, oh my gosh. Oh, guess you're getting caught. You survived it. Oh my gosh, he's getting so buff. Why couldn't you go like three times? What? How? How is he still going? He went like four times. The Scorpius is way too freaking powerful. What? Oh, there's more? Oh, that's how. Now I'm just mad because I'm dumb. It all makes sense now. That looks like a big tangle up compared to the other one. It's only one of them, Mercy Ring. You're gonna be okay. I'm not gonna leave you out to dry. Looks like there's another star after in the sky. Oh. Gotta use my skillful climbing to get up here. Come on. Yep. Intended. Is 
Try to get, get a better angle somewhere else. Come on, you could do it. Eh. What the? A macho just flexing at the beach? Freaking bro. Just bros out there flexing at the beach. Almost. I don't think I can. Gosh, dang it. No. Machos is having crazy eyes over there. Don't really feel like dealing with ya. More score rupees over there. Oh crap. Fast. Yeah, I don't know the fairy type that well. I just don't, I know it's good against uh, dark because dark was overpowered. Seventy-one heavy balls. I could probably craft more at this point. Shit. <laughs> eh. Eh. What are these? Pop pods? Oh, I need these. I need these for uh, one of my missions. Okay, let's drop something. Um, Lumberry. Discard. This card. Okay, I think I only need three, but I'm gonna grab a bunch. Now what's this? This new? Did I just throw? Iron or something. Wait. Fish? I don't think I can. Maybe this is like when I have the ability to swim that I can catch those Pokemon because it's not showing what that one is. Noctillery. Now that's interesting. No, 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 no. It does not see me still. Get out of my way, little score rupee.
Well, that sucked. Okay, you're blind. You like those? Yeah, he likes it. Aww. I always thought Machokes were weird because they're just way too humanoid. It's like, no, that's just a person. I go to the gym a lot. Damn it. Fuck. What about this? Pocket sand. Uh oh. Something sees me. Artillery? So nice using great balls instead of heavy balls. <laughs> it's so easy to aim in comparison. <sighs> Joke, what's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Joke. How you doing today? Oh, no. Yo, yo. Uh, RIP your, uh, your emote. Your animated emote. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Just chilling, playing some Pokemon. Gone too soon. Wanna be that way, artillery? Let's go. Till you get permission from the creator on Twitter. Ah, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> this artillery is <laughs> just use hydro pump on me. Yeah, you're, you're doing the right thing, Val. You're asking for permission. Very respectable, dude. Very respectable. Oh, you're so mine. Oh, no. He's so agile. Hydro pump. Okay, bye, Toxic Croak. All right, Kulava, I won't let it hydro pump you, I swear. Oh, were you playing some uh, Five Nights at Freddy's? Or what were you playing? I think that's what I saw on uh, Discord, right? Come 
on, it's that red bar. No, I'm so sorry, Kolava, no. Wait, FNAF soft lock your save? Wait, putting together a figure on. Oh, okay. Put together a figure. Cool, cool. The chill stream. Nothing wrong with that. Now he's enraged and his stats raise it. Uh, we're, we're going. Sorry, Sophia, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're running. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, that was about as bad as it could go. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it was at red bar health. <laughs> I threw like five balls at it. Nothing worked. But I didn't, I didn't black out. We're okay. Oh, but that was still just nerve-wracking. You know, artilleries are, are, they're supposed to be terrible. Like, I've never had trouble with an artillery in any game until that beast. Oh my gosh. Freaking awful. Okay. Where, where did that come from, kitty? some kitties or not wait I didn't catch the, the second one either oh my gosh my my catching luck went way downhill I blame you joke also appreciate the raid I don't know if I thanked you yet appreciate it dude you know I was planning on Rating you. <laughs> like, my cutoff time was six minutes ago. <laughs> and then you just rated me. Like, oh, well. <laughs> well, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's... I mean, it's just one of those things where it's like, I look back on my day... And then I think about like the conversations I had. It's like, oh, I forgot to say that to them. I forgot to thank them for this, or, or I should have said this. Like, it's just one of those things. Where it's like later in the day I reflect on just like things I've talked about. It's like, oh, so I'm, I'm trying to make sure I do all those things. Thanking people is one thing. Or, like, I'll forget to ask them how their stream was, or, you know, or how they're doing. 
you know, all the generic stuff. So at least engage with people supporting you. Oh, wait, I need to feed these. Eat the food! Come on. You're full already? No, I still, yeah. I always feel that way. You're socially contracted to stream more. Yep, yep, yep. That's all. Uh oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Shh, 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 shh. Well, whatever. You want to do this? We could do this. I will. I'll, I'll end whenever I feel like it. Kick that bird's ass. <laughs> Welcome back, Maggie. <laughs> no prisoners. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> And you'll be happy to know that I no longer have one in my lineup, too. Bird hater. Yeah, I've heard her story. She's got valid reasons. I mean, is it overboard? Yes. But it's still funny. Just in time to bully birds. <laughs> What what's your stance on butterflies? They're 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 they're, they're fine. Oh, I want to catch a butterfly. No, stop attacking me. Turn around. Turn around. Not a bird. Okay. Well, if you said it was not okay, I would I would have still I would have still caught it. Cause I want one. Or I want more of them. Okay, I'm throwing uphill, so I don't know if I'll get it far enough, but let's see if I can make it turn around. Nope, not quite. But I could try sneaking this. Nope. Oh, it saw me. Dang it. No! Oh no, a star raptor's in the sky. Yeah, I'm more of a butterfree type of person than a butterfly. Oh, but butterflies in general look weird to you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Their bodies are weird. Their wings are cute. They could be pretty. But their faces and bodies are... Ugh. They're just bugs. With cool wings. No, you... You're... You're being lit on fire now. Oh, wrong Pokemon. Are you body shaming an insect? <laughs> you know me, I'm just a hater. that <laughs> you win
Ooh. Ooh, okay. A Martha. Cool, cool. That's a new one. What? All right. You still see me. Just one shot it, please. Thank you. Oh, come on. You're ah, oh, it's like a moment before. You know what? Fine. You want to go? We'll go. Right. You got this. All right, we got a side mission here. Yes, I did something something lady on the ridge. Sure. Well, listen to this. A couple of apoms stole my pack of full of goods. <laughs> They've been darting around leading me on a chase. Almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got hope of catching them. Their glasses are funny in this uh this period because they they don't go over your ears, they go all the way around like a mask. You must have used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you help me get my amber palm? Your pack from back from the Ampapom. Or Apom. Yeah. My, do I know how to read? Okay. Oh, it's got some Stantler. Magic fruit appeared from... Oh, they're so fast. I don't have time to use a heavy ball. Use a great ball. <gasps> Look at the sleeping one. Oh, you're so freaking dead. You're mine. Apom, don't ruin this for me. Can't read. <laughs> What up, dudes? Why are Parasects so fast? I thought they were like the slowest Pokemon ever. Can I just do this? Attack it. Uh, don't dance. Attack it. Monkey stole my chips in Thailand. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. Stop dancing with them, Sylvia. Get the crab husk animated by... Cody sap? Okay, I don't I have no idea what that is. Get the crab husk animated. Unless you're talking about the one Sylphion wants to vibe. There's a time and a place. Aww.
All right, now, there we go. Kill it? All right, you can just chill. Oh, I think of you. I missed. Yeah, who did say that? Think that guy's dead? <laughs> Foss is still trying. No, oh, no. <laughs> RIP uh, Well joke asked uh, the person on Twitter Right so he's asking for permission to use it which is the right thing to do Brady reported me <laughs> Gotta do the right thing, joke. Don't shame me for being a whistleblower. Come on. Didn't you read the terms of service? <laughs> Boomers always ruin it for the others. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Who reads? <laughs> <laughs> Chimtra's already level 30? Wow, caught up quick. Palm just shit on you. Wait. Little piece of crap. What? And you just win this battle, I can't catch it. Peace was never an option. But you got striped for nudity? You seriously? Dang, dude. No? Okay, now I'm just confused. So Mikkelson is actually feeling remorseful? Who cares? Punt it. There's a cliff right there. Right off the cliff. Ugh. They already stole from you again. Oh my god. I didn't, re I didn't resolve anything. I told you to punt it off the cliff. I'm just trying to take a, punt a page out of Fawcett's book. Idiot. Yeah, I should, I should kick the guy's ass now. <laughs> Side quest without resolution. Well, it resolved with him giving me cool stuff, so I guess. Break his glasses.
Okay. So my Kulava could, uh, I could evolve at any moment, um, but I want to finish its the research on it. So let me take a look at how close I am with that. Okay. So I've used Strong Style enough. I need to use Quick Attack eight more times, and I need to use an Agile Move six more times. I need to use Ember nine more times. Okay, Ember, Quick Attack, Agile. Money is no, not my berry. You take my expensive resources. Money is nothing. Wait, it was Ember, right? Ember and Agile. I should kill it, right? Oh, just barely. Well, it'll... Well, I get quick attack again. That's actually more optimal. I get to attack twice. Bam. I don't have enough space for whatever it was trying to give me. Oh, they need to give you more space. I can't even pick up things to craft potions. Oh, there he is. Kick his ass. Sylphion, get him. God damn it. Sylphion just never does what it's told. <laughs> oh, mud ball. Another bird. Oh, this is heavy. What? There's an X that won't let me, but they, if I go further away, it'll lob right into him. Shit. Shit. <laughs> there. <laughs> A heavy ball into his heavy balls. I hate that guy so much. <laughs> The birds are gone. Only cats remain. Dang it. So unfulfilling. I already forgot what I need to do for Kulava. How many more embers? Eight more. All right. Oh, oops. That was an agile. I'll get to you in a, again, though. And then there's gonna be another one right here. I guess I could try to catch it. If it spots me, then I'll just... <gasps> the springy tail? Oh my gosh. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Look at you paying attention.
He's not. Oh, God. Whatever, Fawcett. <laughs> you know, you do. <laughs> the furry wouldn't. Uh... Like, I was just, like, proud of him, but then he has to, like, do something to make me less proud. <laughs> it's like me being proud of him didn't sit well with him, so he just had to do something about it. Pass it in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> Did they say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, now he's trying to... Oh, okay, he's giving you the puppy dog guys now? Okay, see what you're doing. Life is pain. <laughs> that memo would be perfect. Uh oh. Did I ever tell you that I had a cat just about as fat as a perugly? Like, actually? Like, my friends, we would literally roll the cat. And by we, I mean, I never did it, but my friends would roll my cat. He would just, like, lay on his side, and then my friends would, here you go. <laughs> and they would roll the cat. He was so big. Literally a perugly. Uh, I'm not worried about the beautiful eye. I don't have any potions. Wait, oh, I have one. No, the cat was like very, very healthy except for its weight. He didn't smell. He had like a clean coat. And head to a farm upstate. Okay, I don't get the reference. You cast her like that sometimes. Okay, one sec, I gotta do something real quick. Um, computer? You okay? What are you doing? Alright, gotta just look something up real quick. That's a reference 
to it being dead. Oh, yeah, the cat's passed away for a few years now, but it's K. It's Totes K. Um, 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 where the F is it? Oh, it's got to be around here somewhere. Come on. When the heck was this picture? Oh no. I've gone too far. I need to find the photo of this cat. Alright, now do... Alright, check out this cat. <laughs> Look at this big boy. <laughs> that's my buddy Tail. And that's another one of my buddies. <laughs> Look how big that cat is. He's a big boy. <laughs> He was a big boy. And the funny thing is he used to catch mice all the time. <laughs> oh. And he and he loved everyone. He was such a good cat. He was like a Maine Coon. He was he was a mix with a Maine Coon. <laughs> and, and like we had multiple cats. None of them were overweight. It was just him. <laughs> he just ate and kept the weight. I don't know what happened. <laughs> As a child. <laughs> all right, okay. That's enough of that's enough of uh, tail. Ah. So that's perugly, right? That this that's just perugly. That's not again. It's a child, and you can see how. Him laying down, and then he'd be like on his side, and my friends would just like lift up his side, and he would just like roll over. <laughs> it was pretty cruel when they did that. And I never did it. Oh, I'd wait. No, I did it once while drunk on a bet, because they, they said I would never do it. And then I reluctantly rolled Taya once. But he would just, like, chill outside, like, and then just, like, you'd come back later and there'd be, like, three dead mice around him. He'd catch them while outside. They wouldn't even be, like, in, like, trapped inside mice. They would just be... Let's go! Let's go! <gasps> There's more of them! <gasps> the Arcane Eye! Ah! <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? How are you? Hush now, settle down. I'm Paulina of Pro Clan. And who might you be? Oh, I like her bandana that's somehow a butterfly in the back. So you're the child from the Galaxy team. I heard you aided Cleaver and Lilligan when no other could quell their frenzy. He must be amazing, and yet he has such a gentle face. Thanks. What brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? I have no lord here, 
much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescued. He was rescuing his little pup. I had been swept out to sea and given up his life to ensure this pup's safe return. What? If you were to guess which of these Grellis would you say is the previous lord's child? They're both Growlithe. Da, big one. That's what everyone says at first, but no. This quiet, skittish Growlithe is a child of the previous lord. Hey! I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but which thing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart? Yeah! I imagine it would. There are those who expect me to train a more strictly enforced lordship upon him before he's ready, but I can never bring myself to do that. Well, I mean, you have a lord, it's just in training. It's fine. No matter what the rest of the poor clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know the situation, may I ask the purpose of you coming to the coastlands? Um, I'm here to help the heir? I don't remember the story. Did Arita ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know this our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I make for Firespit Island. It's a survey of Firespit Island, I see. There are rumors that the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basculgeon. That's not a real Pokemon. If you wish to cross the sea. Wait, Basculgeon? Is that the like the school of fish? Maybe that's the school of fish. I don't know. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. Should be able to help you. This is definitely something strange happening on Firespit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also an odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Blending in the sky that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. But I digress. I do apologize. What if you're both right? And then you're just fighting for no reason. Iskan lives in Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I'm, I imagine you'll find him there. Ro. Okay. Well, before I leave this peninsula, let's check it out. Is this in the shape of something? Ow. I don't think there's anything here. Okay, let's drop some stuff off. Should have jumped. Uh, no. <laughs> Wait, you could just tap X to do this? Oh my gosh, this is so much better. Great my stuff. Wait, I only caught 42 Pokemon? Ooh. 
Ooh, 1,020 points. Let's go. Okay, what I'd like to do now, let's continue on my excursion. Okay, and by that I mean I'm ending my stream here. I, <laughs> I streamed about 40 minutes longer than I intended to. Alright, now to find someone to raid. Uh... Hmm. Is everyone further than me in this game? This guy is not further than me. I found someone who's not further than me. Okay, his Pokemon are level 20 something. I'm a, right after, dude, it's been 40 minutes. <laughs> Can't go a little longer. Like, I have a hard cutoff of like, I need to go to bed at 11 <laughs> is what I'm trying to tell myself. And it's the, in 15 minutes. And like, I want to go to this person's stream. I got to finish a few things in my computer. Then I got to put stuff in the laundry still. Like, I need to be in bed in 15 minutes. Ugh. And I have too much. I still have too much energy. I got to. But yes, I will be ending stream here. I'll be continuing this tomorrow. You know, same game, same stuff. Um, it's Monday. I, I kind of want to start the week off right. I do go longer than 11 all the time, but uh, I feel like ending a little earlier. I mean, I was going to end 40 minutes ago. So let's raid this dude, random person. I don't really know them, but they are streaming this game, and they're not further than me. So that's why I chose them. But uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I've, I've been having so much fun hanging out with everyone playing this game. So appreciate you all, and have a great rest of your night.